In this question, we will draw reflections in the coordinate plane. Here we have been given triangle ABC in the, and we need to reflect it along the line y is equal to x. y is equal to x is a 45 degree line which passes to the center like this. So this line here is like the mirror and this entire image must be reflected accordingly. So now you can see this would be reflected over here because the reflection you know if you uh, just graphing it directly now this what is the distance until here you need to graph it somewhere here and this one accordingly on the other side but that is very tricky just to assume you know just to uh, count and graph the points directly but there are ways how we can do it and you have to write it in detail well, how is it first thing write the points what are the coordinate points of a a is x and y and then we will do the reflection of it. That's later on. Sorry, what I'll do is I'll write original here, original reflected, just to make you understand now. And I'll take this point A. When it's reflected, it'll become A prime or A dash. Why? Because that is the newly formed image. Now here, what is the coordinates? 1, 2, 3, minus 3, and then we have 1, 2, positive 2. So when we write it out, it will be x, that's minus 3 first, and then y, minus 3 and 2. Now let me write the other values as well, b and c. What is b? It is 0, x, and 1, y. And lastly, we have minus 2 and minus 3. So it's 0, 1, minus 2, minus 3. Reflection along at you can write it as y is equal to x or x is equal to y means you just swap these y becomes x here and x becomes y so this is 2 and minus 3 this one will be 1 and 0 and minus 3 and minus 2 so these are the reflected points this is 2 here and now we can graph these points up what is x 2 and minus 3, 1, 2, 3, it's over here. This is the point A prime. See this A, it's reflected here. What about the other points? I'll remove the coordinates of the original image. So it'll be more clearer. What about B? B is 1 and 0. It's 1 and 0 that is over here. That's the next point. And lastly, we have minus 3, 1, 2, 3, and minus 2, 1, 2. So here we get. And now if you join these three points, that is the reflected image. So this is it. This much, if you write it, it's more than enough. If you make a table, it's brilliant. Or just use, leave some space and just write it out. You know, no need of the table as well. I'll just write over here, what is it? Original points, original and reflected. Reflected. And this is along x is equal to y. So that's it. And this, you can just graph it up. They will give you the coordinates. Just graph these newly formed points, that is, these ones, reflected points. And that should be the answer. You can see the newly formed. It's accurate. You know, th those are the points. But you can just use a scale and draw it accurately. Remember, when the reflected points occur, they will have prime here. Now, it's better to write the values. This is B prime. This is C prime. Or dash you know what about this trapezoid same thing you need to see where is it reflected this is reflected over here along this line here so now that is the line you can directly write the points but instead of that original what is original original will be D E F so I'll write D E F and G four points for trapezoid it is 0x and you can see it's minus 3. So I'm just going to write over here 0 and minus 3. What is E? It is 1 and positive 3. F is 1, 2, 3 and positive 3. And lastly, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and negative 3. Now here it's not just reflected. It's just not the inverse of these x and y becomes y and x was for y is equal to x that was very easy right now here you need to take x is equal to minus 1 this is like the mirror where it's getting reflected here you need to find the distance between this and this point and remember since it's along the 
x is equal to minus 1, that's a vertical line, x is equal to minus 1, the y values will never change. See this y, here the y values won't change. So I can just write d prime, e prime, f prime and g prime, the y values, because it's along x, right? x is equal to minus 1. These values will be the same, minus 3, 3, 3, and minus 3. X values change how, by what? This distance here to here is how much? 1. So you need to subtract this by 1. It will be minus 1 here. Sorry, not, uh, say it will be 2, minus 2. Why? Because from here to here it's 1, right? Then it will be minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, like this. It will be minus 2 here, sorry. Now, I'll show you another point. What is the distance from the axis? There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now what you need to do is minus 1, minus 5, that will be minus 6 here. So if you take a point at minus 6, that will be the reflective point. What about this? Minus 2, so 1, minus 1, minus 2 will be minus 3. And lastly, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, it will be minus 5. Please note, you need to consider from the reflect from the line of reflection. Here, from the line of reflection, how much is the distance to E? It is 2. So the line of reflection is minus 1, so it will be minus 1 minus 2. Therefore, we get 3. And now we can just plot the points. Here, it will be 1, 2 here. That will be over here. And then this point over here. And then we have G at minus, see over here, minus 5, isn't it? Oh, did I write these points properly? It's minus 2. G is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That will be minus 6. That is G. So in my bad, I have written 1, 2. Uh, e is minus 3. So this is correct. And lastly, what is F? F is minus 5. So these are the correct values, okay? I didn't see this order. I wrote directly, one by one. So now D, E, F, G. And this G will be at minus 6, that's somewhere over here. And if you just join all the lines with the scale, you will get the reflected trapezoid along X is equal to minus 1. So here we go. These are the answers. You can see over here, it's so easy to find it out. It's minus 2, minus 3, minus 3, 3, minus 5, 3, and minus 6, and 3. The Y values will remain same Y because it's along X is equal to minus 1. All these will be same. This is similar to what we did a while ago. So it's along this line, x is equal to 1. So all you need is, I'm not going to write original and all, I'll just write these points. R, S, T, and U. R is minus 2 and positive 3. S is positive 2 and 4. T is 2 and minus 3. And lastly, we have minus 2 and 4, minus 4. So now the reflected one, it's going to be reflected along y is equal to x. Therefore, it will be just a swap. 3 minus 2, 4 and 2, minus 3 and 2, and lastly, minus 4 and minus 2. So this is the answers. And now if you reflect it, let's write the new values. 3, 1 to 3 and minus 2 is somewhere over here. This will be the point r. That is r prime. 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2 is over here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, that's over here. Let me put that out. And S prime, that is S prime. And then what do we have? Minus 3 and 2, that is minus 3 and positive. Sorry, minus 3 and positive 2, that's over here. Here we go. That will be T prime. And lastly, we have minus 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, and minus 2, that's over here. So you can see this is the figure, the newly reflected figure. You can see that's the trapezoid that's changed. So now this, this is the answer for this one. You can see that is the answer. You can see here U, okay, R prime, S prime, T prime, and the remaining point is U prime. So here we go. You can see, match it. As long as you understand these coordinates, if you get these coordinates right, that's it. That is the main thing. See, these coordinates are there, right? For x is equal to y or y is equal to x, it's very simple. You just have to swap their positions. x of the original figure becomes y of the reflected one and y here becomes x of the next one.
Another similar one here, but it is along y is equal to minus 2. That means here the line is getting deflected. So these points will be somewhere here and here. Now for the first original image, L, M, N, K. Let's write the coordinates. L is minus 2 here and positive 3. M is 1 and positive 4. N is 2 and positive 1. Lastly, we have x value of minus 1 and y is 0. Now, reflection reflected, my handwriting is very bad, at y is equal to minus 2 here. That is where it got, uh, it got reflected. So now what you'll be doing is all these prime, you can't directly write it. You need to see the original image. That time it's easier. See what's the distance. Before that, y is what's changing. See, these values will change. So I'll directly write what are the x values here. X values remain the same. Minus 2, 1, 2, and minus 1. They will not change. The x values do not change. The y value here, which is at 0, and that is for k, will be, see how much is the distance? It's 2, right? So from minus 2, again, you need to do minus 2 because we're going down again. So it'll be minus 2, minus 2, that's minus 4 for k prime. What about the other ones? N. It is, from here it is minus 3, so minus 2 and minus 3 will be minus 5. What about this m? It's too much, 2, 4, 6. So minus 2 and minus 6 will give, give us minus 8. Lastly, l is 3, 5, it will be minus 5, so it's minus 7. That's how we do it for all the points here. Just look at the origin, what is the line of reflection and see what is the distance, then you get these points. Now we can do the newly formed reflected image. So the reflected point L, L prime will be minus 2 and minus 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, it's way too down. It's somewhere over here. And then don't worry, in the exam, they'll give you proper coordinates to graph. M is going to be way down here. And then N prime will be somewhere here and K prime is somewhere over here. So that will be the reflected image, something like this. At the line y is equal to minus 2. You can see this. This is the correct answer. And these are the points which we got. Now we have written it from L. They have started from K, L, M, N. That's fine. I start from L, M, N, K. And here you go. These are all accurate. M, yes, is accurate. N is correct. K is correct. And L, all the values. L, yes, L is also correct. So you are just depending on which line of reflection your values you can easily change see whenever it's x is equal to the y values remain same and it's y equal to x value remain the same only the y changes that is the end of this question i hope it is clear if you have any doubts please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments i hope you all will head on to the next video